Hey soul family, what's going on? This is the Phoenix Cloud Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Isa. I am your friendly neighborhood intuitive oracle slash tarot reader and I'm doing the darn thing today for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the Cross Watcher. This is going to be a general love reading for you guys for the week, okay? We do earth signs on Tuesdays, so always check back on a Tuesday. We're going to look at your energy over here, your person's energy there, mutual energy between the two of you, things that you might not see coming or any additional messages you need to know or hear regarding the connection that you're in with a person okay it doesn't could be romantic take it as romance because that's what we're reading for but for some of you it might just be a relationship with somebody else like in your family or a friend even okay um so feel free to reverse or swap the energy you might be here they might be there okay um what else oh if nothing resonates in your sun sign here then definitely check your moon rising and venus and if those don't resonate for you then feel free to check the older readings and last but not least guys please uh show your girl some love exchange the energy if any of this resonates for you at all smash the love button comment down below and subscribe okay Definitely stick around. We get some zingers near the end of these things. Oh, sometimes it'd be getting crazy. <laughs> All right. Show me what's going on with Taurus right now. What's in their thoughts and feelings about the person they are in a romantic connection with? Show me their thoughts and feelings, please. Where are they at right now in this romantic connection? Ooh, four of swords. Are you guys not talking to each other? Three of cups. Are you all having a good time? God dang. Did you just break up with somebody? All right. So uh, some of you could be resting, meditating, hanging out with friends, trying to keep yourself preoccupied, uh, something to that effect. Okay. So um, I'm, I'm getting that you might be on a break from a person. All right. You might be on a break from a person. We're going to clarify, though, and see what's going on. All right, let's talk about your person, Taurus. Let's talk about your person. Let's stick that in there. What's going on with Taurus's person? What are they thinking and feeling about the connection with Taurus, please? Show me their feelings and thoughts. Nine of Pentacles, Five of Swords death okay it looks to me like some of you guys are on a pause a break or you just had an ending with somebody okay they have nine of pentacles five of swords and death i feel like this person if anything what they might be thinking and feeling or trying to say here is that they feel like you're acting like you're single <laughs> um maybe you're doing a lot of like single people stuff like going out with your friends having a good time not really talking to them um you're relaying a certain type of message to this person that maybe you're single okay because we do have nine of pentacles uh we have the five of swords and death it's like you being selfish um you ending things okay or maybe this person ended things i feel like both of you guys are probably not communicating with each other quite possibly okay let's see we're going to clarify so i can get some more info here talk to me about the mutual energy talk to me about the mutual energy between Taurus and their person, please. What's the mutual energy between them? Ten of Wands, Two of Wands, Two of Swords. Okay, so um, you guys both are making up your mind about this or you've made up your mind with the Two of Wands, Two of Swords. Okay, uh, I think this has been a difficult and heavy relationship. I think you guys are mutually uh, cutting ties or wanting to move on from each other, okay? Two of Wands and Two of Swords. One is a head over heart decision. Maybe even feeling a little stuck here with the Two of Swords. But the Two of Wands is definitely somebody who's making a choice about being in a, di a different direction with their lives, okay? So I feel like you guys, you're just not on the same path. You're both going in separate directions, okay? So uh, you might 
I'll just really be trying to cut the ties uh, and trust yourself about that, okay? Let me see what Taurus doesn't see coming, please. What doesn't Taurus see coming? What don't they see coming? High Priestess, Eight of Wands. Okay, so there's some sort of communication coming in here. There could be traveling and even passion. What you don't see is that something is hidden from you, okay? Uh, it could be another person. It could be a uh, passionate communication here. I'm going to clarify so we can check it out. All right. Let's see. All right. Let's find out why we got the four of swords. Okay. Why do we have the four of swords here for Taurus? Why the four of swords for Taurus, please? Why the four of swords? This can be healing, resting, recuperating, but a lot of times this is the not, we're not talking to each other card. Why do we have this four of swords? One more card, please. Yeah, so um, you might not be talking to this person or dealing with this person. Um, hold on a second. What are you doing? my cats at the door they freaked me out just now I was like um okay so we have knight of pentacles five of wands um I, I think you guys are definitely um you guys are taking a break or you're you're not dealing with each other you're not talking to each other because you're on two different pages here okay uh when it comes to a long term investing in the relationship you are having a conflict with this person I think it's that you could want long term with them, but I don't think that they want it. There could be other influences and even jealousy here with the five of wands. Um, maybe you're feeling jealous that your person may be offering something to somebody else quite possibly, but this feels more like uh, there's a lot of argument and like discontent between the two of you. You're just really not on the same page is what I'm feeling. Why do we have you with the three of cups here Taurus why does Taurus have the three of cups clarify the three of cups please yeah okay so um you might have been <laughs> I have to say it you guys might have been juggling a couple of people okay Maybe you're not on the same page because you're the one juggling, right? You might have cut this off because this person isn't what you want or they want long term and that's not what you were into. You just want to have a good time, okay? You're going back and forth. Um, you might be the one having a good time. Like I said, why do we have the page of wands here, please? Page of wands, page of pentacles. Oh, shit. Does somebody, do you have kids? Why else do we have this page of wands? judgment okay so you know I feel like either you're feeling that this person is juggling another person okay uh, that's what I'm getting more here I don't think this is you I think this is your person that's going back and forth and maybe juggling you and somebody else okay uh with judgment I feel like there's this Judgment can be a second chance, but this feels more like with the Page of Wands and the Page of Pentacles, somebody could be having issues with their kids and stuff like that, okay? Maybe you're dealing with somebody who had a lot uh, a lot of stuff going on with their kids, but I also feel like some of you are surrendering this connection and and like taking a break or not talking to this person because this person doesn't have a lot to offer, okay? Yes, they're fun. Yes, they're passionate. Yes, they have a good time. Uh, but, you know, I, I think in order for you to give this some sort of second chance, you have to be able to trust this person, 
Okay, they have to offer you trust and you, you have to be able to have a sense of freedom with this person as well. Okay, so I don't know. I'm going to get a little deeper here. Let's see what's going on with this Nine of Pentacles, Chariot, Cancer, Energy. Why do they have the Nine of Pentacles? I feel like this person is wanting to invest in themselves, okay? They're moving forward. Um, things might have been going very rapidly for them. They have the seven of pentacles and the chariot, okay? So, but they're but they have this energy of the nine of pentacles. It's almost kind of like saying, you know, I can really do okay by myself. I really don't need you. Um, you know, like everything everything's moving exponentially with or without you okay and that could be you guys so please keep that in mind why do they have the five of swords five of swords isn't good y'all why do they have the five of swords the devil oh shit man Okay, so what they're thinking and feeling is that you are toxic, literally, that you are selfish, that you might be a user, you have ulterior motives, okay, with the devil, Capricorn energy. Why else do they feel the Five of Swords? The Knight of Swords, oh God, that you're totally reckless, like you, you're crazy. They think you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they think you're crazy. They think you're a user. They think that you are the kind of person who says really mean things to them. There's a lot of air energy here. I got Capricorn. I have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, they don't think very highly of you. They actually think really negative uh, energy of you for whatever reason. And I'm not going to say that you think they're great either. They're probably really angry at you because I feel like they want something, they wanted something long-term with you, but you were in conflict with that. Okay. And you see this person as, ha as caring more about their friends or, um, like your, wanting to be free, wanting to be single, you're trying to juggle them, okay, um, you're acting really immature, you're, you may be being irresponsible and things like that, like you're a little kid, or maybe you have issues with your kids and stuff, um, you know, you're, you might be seeing them that way, okay, why do we have death here, Scorpio is here, why do we have death here, Three of Pentacles, ending the contract. You might be in a karmic contract with this person. The moon. <laughs> this person is going to, they're trusting their intuition. Okay. They're putting an end to the connection. Okay. They're putting an end to working together with you. Uh, either they're scared or something's been revealed. Okay. It might have been revealed to this person that you're connected to somebody else that you're already in a marriage. Okay. So it could be where you're the person who's going back and forth here. All right. Why the 10 of wands between both of them? 10 of wands is a really heavy energy. It's at the end of a cycle. It's having put all this fucking wood together through this journey. And now you got too much to carry. Okay. Big, heavy burden, nine of pentacles. Goals. Mm, interesting. Why else do we have this Ten of Wands here? Strength in reverse. Somebody doesn't feel... It could be both of you, okay? So both of you... This is not holding back, okay, with strength in reverse. When strength is in the upright, it's about being strong. It's about courage and loyalty. Somebody here or both of you are not feeling that. You're feeling like maybe out of control, maybe saying nasty things to each other or doing nasty things, um, feeling really insecure, Okay, feeling really insecure. I've got the nine of pentacles again. So I feel like there could be an interference in the connection and somebody is making the other person feel quite uncomfortable being in the in a connection with that particular person. Okay. So there are there's could be crazy jealousy here. Okay. Jealousy. Why do we have the two of wands, please? 
clarify the two of wands. Thank you. Yep, a decision's been made here about both of you. You're not going forward with each other, okay? Not choosing one another and let, letting that shit go, okay? You guys have both made up your mind that you don't want, you don't see a future with each other and you're moving on, okay? Why the two of swords, please, for mutual energy? Eight of pentacles, working, learning, putting in a lot of work, five of swords in reverse, seven of wands in reverse. So I feel like one of you might feel stuck, like you want to work on this, you don't want to fight, you, but I, I, but I also feel like, what, what? No, don't, don't cry softly and make me feel guilty. No, arrow, nothing. No, you're going to come in here and whirlwind my whole table. Um, Sachi, she's the kitten. Yeah, she's going to come in here and mess everything up. Okay, so I feel like somebody might have been thinking, maybe both of you were thinking about possibly trying to work on this, but I think that thought was kind of given up on easily, okay? Somebody, you know, one or both of you is not really willing to fight for this because at the end of the day, it's like, <sighs> I'm not going to say it's not worth it, but it's, it's challenging to like get somebody to, it's like challenging for you to both see each other's side, if that makes sense, okay? Why do we have the High Priestess and the Eight of Wands as what Taurus doesn't see coming? Why do we have the High Priestess, please? I think you guys are trying to release any negative energy in this connection or one of you, the tower. <laughs> There's a shocking revelation about something. Your eyes are being opened about something. Okay, oh shit. Somebody might tell you something you didn't know, okay? So what you don't see coming is that I think this person is going to reveal something that's really gonna hurt you, okay? Uh, with the Eight of Wands, the High Priestess, the Tower, and the Ten of Swords, okay? It's something that's probably going to make you feel devastated, okay? And now your girl needs to know what the fuck that is. Let's go. Let's go, right? What is it that they want to reveal? What What is getting revealed here? What is getting revealed? What's the secret? What's the secret? What's the secret? What's getting revealed here? What's happening with this tower? Why is the tower here with the high priestess? Why is the tower here with the high priestess? <gasps> oh, wow. Guys, the star or temperance in reverse for me can be that somebody is sick, okay? It can also be that somebody may have some sort of venereal disease, okay? Uh, it could be something to that effect. Somebody has given up hope. There is no healing here. Okay, what else? Yeah, guys. <laughs> Three of cups. Okay. So, where you may have... <clears throat> excuse me, been concerned about this person, I think you probably should have been all along, okay? Because you thought in, in your mind, you, you were thinking that this person was juggling a whole other person, maybe even two people, and they were, and it's being revealed to you. I feel like this is what you're finding out, okay? There's communication coming through here, and this, this shit is, is going to devastate you, okay? This person might have a venereal disease because they've been dealing with other people. I hate saying that, guys. That's fucking terrible. Yeah, coffin, look, right there. Coffin. 
Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition, and you have the date card, meeting somebody new, dating, getting back out there. So I'm going to say that definitely that coffin card was for you guys. This relationship is over, dead, and done with, all right? Um, it could be that you guys were the ones who wanted the relationship, all right? I'm sorry, guys. I have to be honest. It's very rare that I feel like, you know, somebody finds out some terrible news. But, um, you know, that's... Mm -mm. Heart with a key. Welcoming love. Meeting the one. Open your heart. Getting together. Perfect. I feel like you guys are going to meet somebody else soon, too. Okay. And we have the snake competition enemy clever malicious look over your shoulder the other woman so i feel like guys you might not have known you might have thought you might have thought about it that there might be another person and i'm telling you i'm pretty sure that there was another person here okay and i get the feeling that this person could have been younger and they might have been connected to another person okay so i think you're definitely finding that out you could be also finding out that you're you're person is like an alcoholic okay that they're sick this could actually be alcoholism as well okay with the three of cups and the star in reverse so that's what i feel all right guys that doesn't make it true i wish you all the best guys seriously if any of this resonated for you at all please show your girl some love smash the love button comment down below and subscribe i wish you all the best my lovely taurus by the way i'm a taurus moon uh, I love you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye.